Welcome to this edition of Civil War Digital Digest. I'm Will. We're back in the library at Historic Fort Wayne, and Jackie Jacobs, the proprietor of Past Reflections Reproductions, has brought yet more out of her original collections in. Thanks, Jackie, for bringing this in. I see we're talking about the pint-sized ones today. We are today. Um, I find when I go to a reenactment that small children are not dressed appropriately, and I don't know if it's because they don't know what boys should be wearing. Everything that you see here is boys wear. And I've noticed that a lot of young boys would be wearing pants much too soon, or they'd be wearing a military uniform. So a military uniform, when you're saying that, you're not talking a military uniform like little boys we see in CDVs where they have almost a toy uniform. You're talking just a miniaturized I'm full. I'm talking of a full military uniform that their dad would wear only in a miniature size. Okay. And that's not appropriate. So, and it's not, what we have here are several originals that allow us to explore what is appropriate. What age range do we look at here? Well, the plaid, silk plaid, is the same age group as the red. This one came documented as David's scarlet dress, age three. Well, that pretty much tells us that it all, tells doesn't it? tells us exactly what age group this young man should be wearing. And both of these dresses, or frocks, as uh, we would prefer to have them called, would be worn by three-year-old and under. So the, using modern terms, having two little girls myself, these little boys' frocks are toddler's clothes. Toddler's clothes, yes. Well, Jackie, whether we call them dresses or whether we call them frocks, why is a little boy in this compared to what he's in today? Well, it would be much easier to potty train. And if you can notice on this one, there is some staining on the front. So it's much easier to, to train young men when they're in the frocks like this, as opposed to being in trouser. That's basically when a little boy would transition to a trouser is after he's potty trained. So we move to the other side of the table and we have more. What do we have here? Well, we have when the child graduates from this toddler size right here, they would go into the next type of clothing that little boys would wear. I have found in boys' clothing, I don't find the growth tucks in the skirts of garments like I do in girls' clothing. And why is that? Because by the time they get out of this age range of clothing, they're into the next stage of their grouping of clothing. And that's these. And that would be these. Tell me about these. These are interesting in the respect that this is a jumper with a little underbody, and then it has the jacket to go with it. I don't know if it had trousers to go with it or knickers to go with it, but the one that's there in front of you is also, um, it has the, the bodice and it has a skirt that is buttoned to the bodice. The little knickers that are right here would have been button to the undergarments. Now, is this an either or? Is this made to be worn as three pieces together or is it jacket and either skirt or knickers? It could be worn all three together. It could be worn just with the trousers and the top or it could be worn with just the skirts and the top. If they were just playing at home, they might decide to put just the trousers and the the top on. If they were going out somewhere fancy or to be seen in public, they might put the entire outfit on. Um, I have CDVs of little boys wearing garments like this and you can see their petticoat showing and they're all dressed out. It's very interesting that they can do those different things with this garment. Okay, so very versatile there both for very age versatile. of a child and for weather. Yes. Absolutely. Well, let's go back there to the toddler's area again. Let's talk about some common construction there and what there is to talk about in these originals. Well, I have found a lot of boys' clothing is cut on a bias. And again, the bias is the, the 45 bias degree is, of the fabric. is that stretch and give of the fabric, yes. And But both of these garments are one piece in the front and one piece in the back. And the seam for the waistline is right here and right there, 
and it's a very simple construction on this one. Very, very quick to make this garment. And very, very quick to use it because he's going to grow out he's of it in going a couple to, of months. That, and that's the whole thing. I mean, I found it unusual that there was this much handwork on this little frock right here because they're not in these that long to spend that much time uh, developing the, the fancy stitches in one thing and another. The other thing I found interesting with the plaid is the little silk passementaries that are on the front and on the sleeve. I would no sooner put this on a two-year-old or three-year-old's dress or frock today as I would fly to the moon. But I find it interesting that I, I find those kinds of ornamentations on children's clothing. Okay, so sort of to bring it all together, if you don't want to call it a dress, it's a frock when it's, it's little a boys. Frock. A frock by itself through toddler years, maybe a little bit more ostentatious than we would think of today. Rather than letting out to be longer, we transition to a multiple piece frock suit, whether two or three pieces. Yes. And then from this time period, or from this age group, when they outgrow this one, they would go into a tunic with trousers which or of, knickers. Which, of course, is another piece that you own and something you'll be able to see on another episode of Civil War Digital Digest. Well, thanks, Jackie, for bringing this in. This covers the four of the first five years of life for little boys in living history or just looking at what children wore if history is something of interest to you. For the Civil War Digital Digest, thanks for spending your time with us today. If you liked the episode, hit like and consider subscribing to our channel. You'll get updates for further content when you do. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.